All right. Hello, this is Narwhal Prime. I will be doing live commentary on one of my runs for Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. All right. So three, two, one, go. So this is a game in where you defuse bombs, and you're going to see the first one being defused real quick. Uh, let's see, expert uh, there first. Nice. All right. So the idea of this game is there are modules on a bomb, uh, normally played by two or more people with one person being the diffuser. The diffuser can see the bomb and the experts have the manual with instructions on diffusing. So this becomes a communication exercise between the two parties where the diffuser has to see all the details and then the experts have to parse the rules and tell the diffuser how to do it. So for speed running in this game, um, you take on both the rolls at once. And while using the manual is allowed during the run, since that can't be enforced, it's much faster to memorize, which is w exactly what I've done here. Oh man, didn't get that one. Alright, so yeah, throughout the run I'll be talking about um, the different modules and how they work. So I'll start off with um, probably what's most relevant to speedrunning is the button. Uh, the way that works is you press and hold the button and depending on what digit or sorry what color stripe is appears next to the button uh, that determines when you should actually release um, give me a sec six ADA ash uh, press oh right I have no yellow cool uh, so like for example that last one if the stripe was blue then I have to release the button if a 4 is anywhere in the timer. So, um, so that means you have to time it correctly sometimes so that the timer is at 451 because the relevant digits are always 1, 4, and 5. Uh, that's what the instructions dictate. Uh, got that one. Ox, break lamb, green. I have a vowel. Hold on, yes. Uh, Display sure you are done like you are done like x. Excuse me, I'm just rally off my um, mnemonics here. You're done like eq, and then usu left, right, left. Cool. Um, the one way to actually make the button go faster, uh, since sometimes you have to wait like a while for the one to appear, you can actually. Um, get strikes on the bomb and the timer will go faster. So for a lot of these easier bombs you're allowed up to three strikes. And on third strike the bomb blows up and you just have to start the bomb over. Which uh, can take anywhere from 20 to 20 seconds to a minute away depending on how far you are into the bomb. Uh, 4 2 uh, vowel 4 2 4 4 4 2 4 4 3 1 4 2 4 4 3 1 Four two four four three one. Oh man, got bad RNG there. And I kind of messed that one. Okay, four two four four three one. Four two four four three one. Two two four one three two four. All right, one strike with a vowel. So I go across. There we go. Uh, the next one I want to talk about is one I just did, Simon Says. As you can tell, the, light, the button that lights up is not necessarily the one you have to press. Uh, there's a series of instructions in the manual. Um, there are six possible sets of instructions. Um, depending on the three choices of how many strikes you have, 0, 1, 2, or whether there's a vowel in your serial number. Uh, so that one's like pretty straightforward. It's not that hard to memorize, but uh, you do have to be aware of how many strikes you have. Should that be relevant. And I actually do not have a vowel. So let's take a little little bit carefully. So great. Uh, wow, that's not great. Uh, first found every... Okay, yeah, so I didn't have a vowel. Which means... yep. So 
So ideally you would be able to parallelize modules. Uh, as you can tell there's a little delay in inputs. Cool. So yeah, that's Simon Says. Um, a lot of these bombs in the beginning, as mentioned, are uh, three strikes. Oops. Uh, but as we go on later, you'll see the hardcore bombs where you can only make one mistake and then you have to start over. Um, so we got. Okay, so 011, 021, 031, 032, 132, 142. Two four three four two two. Ideally, I would have parallelized this, but um, we're taking a safe strat here. Two 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 one, two 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 one, two 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 one four two. It's not like it would save much time, to be honest. Two 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 one four two, two one two three, two one two three. Cool. Uh, for the record, the top uh, timer of thirty six oh four is my PB. Alright, so at this point um, we've pretty much seen most of the basic modules. In the next chapter we'll see um, new modules being introduced. Alright, so we got uh, parallel, okay. Cool, can I uh, detonate? No, okay, 4-1. 4-1, 4-2, 4-3, 4-4, 4-5. Four one four four three one. One four four three one. Four one four four three one. Four one four one one. One four. Got it. Cool. So there, I was um, looking at the Morse module while um, taking a break from the memory module. Uh, real quick, yeah. So the one with the numbers, uh, the way memory module works is there will be a number in display and based on what it is you have to press one of the four buttons below. The position and label of what button you pressed in each stage is important. There will be instructions like oh if you see a two press the same label you pressed in the previous stage or something like that. Uh, one sec, uh, I got batteries in parallel. Batteries, okay ready, yes, okay, what? MLP, uh, two, two, uh oh, that's U R. My goodness, I didn't see that. Two two. Okay, yes. Two two is S X. Okay, two 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 one. Two 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 one three one. Two 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 one three one. Two 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 one three one. Two one one two. Two one one two. Uh, Morse. Just ignore that. That's an H. I think I have shell. Cool. I was just happy to be the first one. And the way the Morse works is you have a list of words. Each one corresponds to a frequency. And yes, we do have to know Morse uh, to parse that one. And I got to pick up the pace bombs, the ones with the shorter timers. But yeah, normally since it's played as a party game, they throw all sorts of challenges at you. I have two blue wires. My goodness. I uh, thought it was a black one. Alright, no matter. Gotta wait for five. E, zero. Okay. Four. Right, ready? Yes. Uh, yeah, so about, um, so you notice like in the beginning, actually, let me finish this one. Yeah. So in the beginning, the room is dark. It's a little bit harder to see details. U R is Z X. Where's X? There it is. A little bit harder to see some modules. So like the colors of the comp or the colors are sometimes you can see those. Uh, other details don't come up until the lights actually go on. Um, like the maze or the who's on first, which is the one with the six words. Um, that's a little harder to see. Okay, so we got. Okay, should be last wire. I don't know why I pressed first. Um, so I got four, four. So you see, there is. Uh huh. Just uh, planning my moves out. 
four 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 two four 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 two four two four 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 two four 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 one done nice so that would be a good example of uh, paralyzing because some of the modules uh, there's some delay between uh, the different stages so who's on first uh, again that's the one with the six wires that bottom left module earlier uh, well, after I press a button um, I go on to another one uh, being memory which was also also has a delay and the fact that uh, who's on first does not require you to memorize previous stages uh, that makes it a little easier uh, do I have odd? no okay. uh, Oh, whoops. Good to know is that the last uh, bomb is actually the first hardcore bomb. So, thankfully, made no mistakes. I actually just realized this. <laughs> okay, we have a um, example of a rather long bomb here. Uh, let's see. So we donate two 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 four four. I'll do more later. I usually leave that one last. Two two four four one two. Two two four four one two 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 four two four one four two four okay B T W F what okay I might be able to pick up a key letter here uh, that's a T um oh, that's strobe actually it's not okay all right let's actually play it a little safe that's a vector. My goodness, I saw an OR and thought it was strobe. Nope. Okay, so nothing is left, so right left. Alright, all good. But thankfully we got that one out of the way. I guess, um, even in the very worst case, like in very bad days, if I haven't practiced for like two weeks, probably around like 10 to 12 explosions, but in a good run like this, it's looking to be about like even at most six. Uh, let's see. Half Life Alien. Oh, wait, it's a TP. Alright, so I just want to show you what happens when you explode. <laughs> um, but rather, I should focus at the beginning. Alien X. Alright. So that. Okay. Post our H. That board, no weird cases. I would mention what the button I forgot to mention earlier is there are very few edge cases where actually you don't press and hold the button. You actually have to immediately release. And uh, sometimes there are a few details. Like, it happens pretty rarely, except like if it's obvious. Uh, in, that, in this case, it says detonate and there are multiple batteries on the bomb. Then it's easy peasy. Sometimes you might miss details that also indicate um, press and immediately release. It's a bit strange. Uh, do I have no? Okay. Uh, green with a vowel. That's a needy module. I'll explain it in a bit. All right. So we got that. Mm. Well, slightly bad RNG with the Simon says. New York middle is EJO. Yeah. You are uh, right. Yes. Good job. Lead is done. You are. So yeah, this is the needy capacitor. Basically, the red meter goes to the top. Goes to the top. You explode, or rather, you get a strike. But this bomb only has one strike. Um. Most of the time, the needy modules can be one cycled uh, because you do the modules generally fast enough. And especially if the bomb has, like, there are a few where, like, an insane number of uh, needies, then you just skip them. Six paragraphs, alien. Okay. Uh, even batteries. No. Yes, sir. Okay, right. I'm just going to skip the knob. That's basically the pattern of LEDs tells you which position to go in. Um, in this case it will be left. Nothing is you. So Santa Claus, good.
So at this point, we've seen all the modules. All right, this one coming up is a good example of don't caring about not caring about the needies if you go fast enough. Uh, I'll stay quiet for a moment. Six paragraphs alien spell spell. Okay, this one's a conversation. Perfect. Uh, this is one example of a bomb that's always a set configuration, in this case, buttons, maze, and uh, password. And yeah, if you do it fast enough like that, then, well, <laughs> it's a breeze. Alright, so we're going to take a bit of a breather as um, uh, this is the first bomb with three strikes. Uh, in a marathon, this would probably be a good time for donations or other commentary and such. Uh, let's see, black, red, yellow, black. Okay. Uh, do I have batteries? I'm just saying my mnemonics here. Batteries. Even. I'd even. No, I don't. Okay. One one zero two one zero two two zero two two one two 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 three two two three two three three two four four two four. All right. One zero one. One 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 two one two two one two 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 three two two four two two four three two cool. Actually, I actually could just guess there. So that last module I did, uh, it's called a wire sequence. Um, the instructions basically say whether you cut this wire or not depends on what letter it's connected to and um, how many of that color wire you've already seen. So you always click hit the first black wire no matter what it is um, but if it's like the fifth one you fifth black wire yeah only cut it if it's B for instance uh, okay vowel that's that could be never uh, not never uh, that's uh, that's uh, the easiest uh, Simon sets I've seen in this run okay so hopefully it's still uh, it could be study actually it's study. Come on. Okay, we got conversations. So, right. That was a more intricate one. So, as you can tell, um, the maze, uh, there are nine possible mazes uh, distinguished by the positions of the green circles. I've given each one a name. So, like, for example, that one's called conversation. It just helps with, um, with me visualizing. All right, so we give them with ones of who's on first. This one being the hardest vanilla mod to memorize, in my opinion, because it's uh, has at least two parts to it, depending on how you memorize it. So I'm going to do real quick here. It says, uh -huh, red, uh, you, yes, you, Santa Claus, zips, okay, you, your, no, B, T, W, F, B, lead, you are, piece of me, Z, X, you, yours, uh, juggle, uh, ready, nothing. Read, uh, hold is C U D I. Nothing middle is B J O. Display is what? Uh, what? You yours right? Yes, good job. Wait, hold on. You yours. Yes, good job. P N W P N. You yours. Uh huh. Read is wait. Uh, re read is blank. Uh, wait, right. Perfect. So way this works is, you see the display. That tells you what position to look at. You look at the label on that position. There are 28 possible labels. Therefore, there are each label corresponds with a list. And there are 28 lists of words. You choose the first word in that list that exists among those six labels. Um, yeah, I'll talk more about actual mnemonics as I go on. Two, three. Can't have a Q. Two, three, two, two. Oh, wait, it's a three strike module, so that's good. Two, three, two, two. Two, three, two, two, three, three. Two, three, two, two, three, three. Two, three, two, two, three, 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 two, three, two. Uh, three, two. Perfect. After. Alright, yeah. It says one two zero one three zero one three one one three two 
So yeah, the, as I mentioned with the wire sequence, since the uh, the number of the wires you've seen of each color is important, uh, that's why I'm spewing out the numbers there. So I'm going to be doing that for a majority of um, modules. I'll probably keep my vo I'll try to keep my voice down for those sections. Uh, although I have I have been told that for who's on first, I should be spewing out everything I'm saying. So we'll see what happens there. USU is a. Uh, I probably should have done that. Just being safe here. Okay, cool. Hold on, is sure you are done like EQ. Cool. Yeah, I would go much faster actually if I wasn't spewing mnemonics. So yeah, uh. I guess, is there anything about RNG in this game? And also, there was Simon Says. I mean, basically, because it's random, like what patterns you'll see. Um, right, whoops. I have one strike. Yeah, but yeah, sometimes some things would be like already set up for you, and that's, oh, that's easy. And then other times you just have to think harder, and, well, that's luck, honestly. For example, if I saw a bunch of buns with detonate and oh, I have batteries, woo, then <laughs> saves a lot of seconds. Two, three, four, four. Two, three, four, four, one, three. 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 Three, four, three, four, three, four. Okay, so I have yellow, I have no vowel, and I have one strike, so mutate. Play it a little safe here. This. Okay, sure as you are done, like uh, EQ. There it is. It's easy to skip out a label if you're doing this fast. Press is right, middle, yes. Ready? Yep. This is the gully, so boop. Uh, this one's a hard one. Boop, and yep. All right, CB, so one, two, zero. Two, two, zero, three, two, zero, three, three, zero. Four, three, four, zero, four, four, zero. Four, four, one, four, four, two. As usual, even more for last. That's a B. E, uh, so strobe. There we go. That time it was strobe. All right, so pretty good time. I only have exploded once. So pretty good. So I think somewhere earlier I mentioned like 10 to 12 explosions, like on a very bad day. Each one can take at most a minute, so that's uh, would be factored into my um, estimate. Uh, let's see what we got. We got parallel and even. Parallel, even, batteries, is oh, no batteries, did I just assume that? Yeah, don't assume details, well, that would be called risky strats in this case. <laughs> Basically assuming details without looking at everything. Alright, so this time we definitely have batteries, there we go. 6, A, N, I equal dash, press, uh, let's do this. Oh man, <laughs> I just missed the 4. Um, oh, don't tell me this is one of those press and melee release. If that is, I'll be kind of mad. Okay, good. <laughs> so, it's three zero, one three zero. Ignore the timer. One four zero, one four one, one four two, two four two, two four three. All good. Yeah, we have a lit indicator car, but not a blue button. So one of those very rare cases. Literally not happened before. I'm gonna say that now. <laughs> that one case that I've never encountered where you press immediately release when you think you don't need to. Alright, let's see. Two two zero or two zero zero two one zero two one one three one one. 
three one two, three two two, three three two, three three three. We have needies, which we probably should attend to in this bomb. But let's take this one a bit carefully. because uh, it's gonna be a long one. Alright, green and then we have a vowel. Cool. This one's just up, that's fine. Let's see, okay, done you you are. Alright. <clears throat> Read their lead is uh uh V U C E X I. Oh, I got a more cycle. S T R strobe. Nice. Hold on is blank, so wait, right, okay. Uh, what else? Let me just be safe here. Alright. Oh, yeah, the button. Okay, no weird cases. Wait for the one. Cool. Yeah, this, uh, the timer is based on my PB run, so. Uh, whether it is green or gold splits, it's dependent on that. Or green and red. But yeah, still under 30 minutes before the hardcore bomb, so very good. Double trouble. Alright, 6 Ada Ash. So we got batteries and odd. Mm, let's see. Or er, Novell. Yep, that's what I meant. Alright, so the conversation is going to be a weird one. Um. I'm, I went the wrong way. That's just up. That's fine. But both of them are up. Okay. Yeah, this bomb goes on long enough that you have to attend to the needies. Um, just sanity check. Okay. We good. House. That's good. Um. I guess I'll talk about more things. Um, the password is pretty straightforward. There's a list of words that can appear. Um, and you can rule out which one. Or you have, there's only one that can appear. So you just cycle to that one. And it's pretty straightforward if you can rule out which words just by like looking through the first letters. And uh, there are other tricks like, oh, if it's a T, the second, word, the second letter must be an H. Uh, coming up to this bomb is pretty special. It's a great for practicing all your bombs modules. Um, this is actually the first bomb I've seen from a YouTube video. Uh, shout out to Lieutenant Hummus, whose video of him and his squad defusing this bomb with less than a second remaining is pretty great and inspired me to pick up this game. Alright, let's see. Zero, two, zero. That's another special case. One, two, zero, one, three, zero, one, four, zero. Uh, one, four, one. Four two one four three two four three. Alright, two four. Oh wow. Two four two four. Oh, I got duplicates modules here. Two four two four three two. This one's completely random except for the fact there's only one needy module. Two four two four three two. Four four two two. Four four two two. I got a vowel. See if we can paralyze this one. Alright. I kind of forgot it, so I'm going to be safe here. Uh, two, two. That's the alley. Alright. Blue, yellow, red. Cool. Uh, this is the elephant. Perfect. Yeah, uh, this is pretty good luck here. Uh, so also like the positioning of the modules, especially since you don't have to uh, waste seconds turning the bomb around and such. Anyway, that's the end of the hardcore. So we go on to the exotic bombs. Uh, if people are thinking of picking up this game for speedrunning, um, there are mods for this game where people make their own custom modules, and believe me, that's pretty fun seeing other people's ideas. But there's not a mod in which um, you can like say put the same copy of like any module that you want 
on the same bomb. But thankfully, there's these bombs that ha that do have, well, the aforementioned copies. Uh, I'm gonna take this one a little safe. Green, yellow, red. Okay. No, this one's a five sequence, so kind of unlucky. But it goes to maximum five, so there's that. I'll just do all these at once. Yellow, red, red. Let's just do this one. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. These are both five. Okay, red, blue, blue. Nope, they are both five. Well, dodge a bullet there. <laughs> yeah, surprisingly, that <laughs> bomb in particular can get pretty intense if you're trying to parallelize five Simon Says, and turns out the last few are five sequence then well tough luck so this one is a copy of uh, the wire sequences or sorry complex wires batteries and do I have a parallel? no just batteries okay it's pretty straightforward this one mm, of course if you parse the wires incorrectly then that's yeah, kinda tough you're always guaranteed at least one of the wires is cuttable. I um, guess I haven't really explained how this one works. The idea is what's important about um, instructions on which one to cut. Um, basically, you have to look at the sides of the bomb. You're, you have to. So you look for things like, if there are, is there a parallel port? Is there a serial number even? Uh, do you have batteries? Things like that. Uh, this one is one where you can practice mazes. Uh, for me, the second hardest module to memorize. They're going to be coming up soon. Yeah, as mentioned earlier, nine different mazes. Um, I was inspired by a Reddit thread um, where someone who is also speedrunning this game, he, uh, they memorized by giving these bombs names. And he mentioned how one of them looks like an elephant, like just by the shape of the paths. Uh, shoot. That, you have to go down, actually. <laughs> but yes, uh, being off by one in terms of like where the wall is or where the space is, can't afford to do that. So this is a very precise module, in my opinion. Um, so this is one I messed up earlier. I call this one the big L, because the, the pathways make an L. There's a free pathway that makes an L shape. This is the alley. Uh, so we go through the U-bend, and down below, okay, this is Polar Express, this is a long one, oh dear, boop, again, RNG, just relatively where the white square is placed to exit, you know, can't really control that, this is Alley again, uh, that one's easy, this is the elephant, uh, okay, slightly long, Yeah, but a lot of explosions when practicing this one. <laughs> um, when just starting off, at least. So we go through the tongue. Yeah, basically that one I imagine to build up a conversation because the green circles are the eyes of the participants, and uh, I could spend all day explaining mnemonics. But um, honestly, it's whatever mnemonics uh, the speedrunner feels is comfortable because. Whatever you ch techniques you choose, must you must be able to recall them quickly. Uh, you can't just like look back at the rules and go, "Oh yeah, that looks familiar. I think I got this." No, uh, lots of practice is required before you can say, "I have these down pat. I can go through these quickly." It's a speed run after all. Uh, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, two, three, uh, four, two, three. But it's definitely been a kind of unique challenge. Uh, it is a little bit daunting at first to one, one, two to memorize. Uh, essentially just a bunch of random info. Being a little safe here. One, two, four. 
Okay, one two zero again, one three zero, one three one, one three two, one three three, three four, and four four. I haven't seen that yet. Alright, one one one, one one three, one two three, three three three, three two four. Okay. Zero two one, two two one, two two two, two two three, two three three. Three, three, three. Done. Hmm. What else has not been covered? The buttons. Uh, the one with the four symbols. Yeah, that's been introduced. Um, as one of the basic modules. The idea is you have several lists of symbols, and you'll get one of those lists, and f four of the symbols will be picked to be shown on the buttons. You have to press uh, the symbols in order as they appear top to bottom in that list. Um, fun fact about those symbols is uh, they're not they're just um, random symbols that devs found based on the uh, what I imagine is the Unicode uh, set of characters there's one, oh yeah, this looks interesting um, so you get some symbols perhaps from another language or something as common as uh, the copyright symbol uh, large learn none of those. So write uh, every... Yeah, the thing about the password is um, I'm just mentioning the words that could appear. Um, there's some words like, oh there's only one word that begins with C and that's could. So if I just cycle through the second letter and oh it's not there. No. Go on. And then you have words like W and they have like a bunch of them like word, would, write. Um, those can get a bit tricky if you've forgotten the words. So for the words that have more than one, um, if there are more than one word starting with the same letter, I group them together and sort of make a story. Like for the S words, for example, I go like, oh, small sound spell still study. Like I can imagine like someone in the Harry Potter world like trying to study and they cast a spell to make things quieter. It, it, these mnemonics are pretty silly. Everyone's different. Um, this one's found, I think. Um, but hey. If it's silly and you can remember, then so much the better. Probably just makes it more memorable. At the same time, it also makes it kind of hard to explain your mnemonics. It just can't sound kind of silly at the end of the day. But, um, just probe your memories and see what mnemonics you can come up with. Coming to the last one, uh, Blink and Lights. This is the first, uh, the only of the exotic bombs to have two different modules. And let's see if we can parallelize Simon Says again. Woo. No module or vowel, so cycle. Oh, perfect. Uh, that's an L. Also an L? I think shell. Oh, dear goodness. <laughs> um, could have been another word, or I could have misread it. That would be like an example of a risky strap, doing more since Simon says. Um, since we are near the end of the run, I'm usually safe here anyway. Yeah, at least we get... Um, I usually don't do this, just for transparency's sake. As in parallelizing Simon and Morse. Marathon strats after all. However, I'm still down with parallelizing Simon says. We do get a five sequence though. And another one. Okay. 
steak. It's an S. H. Please be shell. Shell halls, yep. That's an R. I. Uh, the problem with this one is you don't know if it's brick or trick, so you gotta wait for the first layer to appear again. Which is why I keep saying like, um, get the Morse cycle, because it's best to see the word in the beginning. Flick bomb, break brick, and that is the run. Okay, 40 minutes. Um, that's all right, I guess. Especially with me taking the risky strats. Um, but definitely not doing those. Anyways, yes, that has been Keep Talking Nobody Explodes. Hope you enjoyed it. I've been Narwhal Prime, and have a good day.